What's up, everybody? This is Stephen Thompson from Inside the Panthers coming to you from Pittsburgh. Just hours ago, Kalijah Kansi became the second uh, Pitt Panther to go in the first round in as many years. He was selected 19th overall by the Tampa Bay Bucks, making this the second year in a row that the Panthers have had a player drafted in the first round. Uh, Kenny Pickett obviously came before him. He was drafted 20th overall by the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is the first time that's happened since 2007 and 2008 when Darrell Rivas and Jeff Oda went bad, went in first rounds in consecutive years. So first of all, you know, congrats to Kalaji. He was always very friendly during his media obligations when I've covered him and, and by all accounts, a great teammate. So you do wish the best for him. But this is also a big day for Pitt as a program uh, to have this kind of year to year success in the NFL draft, not even just in the first round, but but throughout the rounds. But everyone kind of focuses on that first round and just to have that kind of success and to have guys go back to back years uh, with with players in the first round is a good indicator of, of strong program health. Um, they have tons of talent. And it's translated translated onto the field with the 20 wins over the past two seasons. Uh, and, you know, those aren't just empty calories. You know, they're putting guys in the in the NFL. That's a great recruiting tool. These guys are doing it on a national stage, and that that is nothing but good for Pitt. And it, it clearly shows that head coach Pat Narduzzi has the, team, has the program pointed in the right direction. You think about how much they lost from the 2021 ACC championship team. They still reloaded, won nine games, and are going to send another healthy crop of NFL dra- uh, NFL talent to the draft and, and to the NFL. As for Kalaja Kansi himself, I feel like this is a great fit. Uh, the Bucks are a team rethinking its identity with Tom Brady gone. You know they are they have a ton of talent on defense and a lot of veteran presence on their defense as well. The offense is in flux a little bit. They have a defensive-minded head coach in Todd Bowles that will lead them through that transition. He could be a great ment- mentor for Kalijah Kansi, and Vita Vey is also there to help mentor Kansi. Uh, he's another defensive tackle that will spend a lot of time with him, and, and they'll be in a lot of meetings. They'll be at practice together all the time in the same group, and Kansi will have a great chance to to pick his brain and and to learn how to how to really play the position and to prepare like a pro and to, to be a pro at that level. And as far as the actual football goes, this is a Bucks team that really needs help getting pressure on the quarterback. Gancy, if nothing else, can do that. He's got great pass rush ability, and while he might not be ready to be a full-time defensive tackle in the middle of a, an NFL defense yet, the Bucks will be able to use him in spots, and he will have the benefit of not needing to be a full-time starter right away. It'll help avoid stunting his growth and, and just make sure that Canty can develop at his own speed and make sure that this isn't, you know, rushing him into a starting job yet. So we're happy for Kalaja. We expect big things. And with the rest of the draft still to go, we'll see where this the rest of Canty's teammates who have declared for the draft this year end up.